Do you think that the type of bacteria that lives in our gut can change our mood? Well, it's true. There are now probiotics or healthy bacteria that we can take to alter our psyche. They're called psychobiotics or mind-altering probiotics that researchers say can boost mood, decrease anxiety and ease depression. Now it's a novel thought that bacteria in our gut can do all of that. There's actually a lot of research happening in this area right at the moment. And apparently you don't have to be too severe to experience the difference. You can be just a bit down or a little bit wound up to see the benefit. So how do they work? Well, one thing they do is they make biologically active compounds called neurotransmitters. Things that you all have heard of, like GABA, serotonin, remember that's the happy hormone, adrenaline or noradrenaline, otherwise known as epinephrine or norepinephrine, some of those stress hormones, and acetylcholine. So those are all neurotransmitters that the gut and the brain both share. They will actually trigger cells in the lining of the gut to release those molecules and signal brain function and affect our behavior. A second way that they work is to modulate the stress response. Stress triggers the hypothalamic pituitary axis in the brain and the adrenals to work overtime. And instead of having a nice cycle of cortisol release during the day, it's just full on all day and night. What these bacteria can do is to modulate that response again. Also, if there are elevated levels of inflammation anywhere in the body or the brain, this can trigger depression and cognitive disorders. Psychobiotics seem to be able to soothe an exaggerated inflammatory response. They'll reduce inflammatory markers, insulin, and increase a powerful antioxidant that we have in our bodies called glutathione. Now I'm sure you're dying to know which probiotics you can take that can be psychoactive for you. Well, the list is long, but I warn you, the names are even longer. But basically, there are a variety of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria species. And if we get specific, then the species names would be Lactobacillus helveticus, KCI species Shirota, Rhamnosus, and Plantarum. And when it comes to the bifidobacteria, it's B. longum and Breve. Now you might be saying, well, what dose do I need? Well, you need at least 10 billion CFUs per day for at least a month. And in some of these studies, they actually used 24 billion CFUs a day. Now, bacteria like to have a certain type of food. They don't just necessarily like all the food that we eat, but the foods that they like are called prebiotics, and that enables them to stay around for longer in the gut. So it seems that for these particular bacteria, the best prebiotics are from the Berminogalacto-oligosaccharide type, uh, and that's shortened to BGOS for short which, by the way, can also help with irritable bowel syndrome.